Hello, Albert Freeman here. In a few weeks since my first vlog, a lot has happened. The two main learning experiences that I'd say I've had have been the Pacific Institute workshop, looking at organisational culture, how we think as individuals, and how we communicate with one another. That was incredible. That, that two days has stuck with me and will stick with me for a long time. I've already made to a few changes at work and in my personal life based on what I learned on those two days. The other thing is that I've started to read Stephen Covey's book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. I've got as far as the proactive habits so far and there were things in that that really struck a chord with me as well in terms of a stimulus and a response and we choose how we respond to that. I found that with both Stephen Covey and the Pacific Institute the changes they're advocating are quite subtle yet complex, quite simple yet powerful. So for instance with Stephen Covey taking reactive language and thinking how it could be turned into proactive language and with the Pacific Institute taking a limiting belief and turning that into a liberating belief. And we're not talking major differences here between what counts as productive versus counterproductive. The, the, the changes are actually quite, quite simple. I mean, just f for one example, the difference between reactive versus proactive language in Stephen Covey's book. I actually recognise in myself certain times when I myself use reactive language other times when I use proactive language. But I don't think I'd really fully appreciated what a big impact one or the other can have on myself and the other people around me. So I'm gonna work quite hard on first observing when I am reactive rather than proactive. And then once I've observed, trying to then change from reactive to proactive. Now I'd just like to say one more thing and then I'll wind up and that is that having watched the vlogs by my fellow participants on this programme, there's one thing that struck me and that's something that Deborah said. She said that she felt she benefited greatly from the Pacific Institute workshop, but she didn't agree with everything the facilitator said. Now that I feel is quite a key point, that we mustn't lose sight of the fact that this programme is not just us absorbing information, but us retaining that level of critical thinking and questioning things as we go along and not taking everything at face value. 